they run this Kirk here again at Option Alpha. So if you've been following along in the community, we posted an update on the transition from TD Ameritrade to Schwab. And I have one account that is actually moving today from TD Ameritrade to Schwab. So I'm going to go through the process of moving one of my bots to a new broker for a new trading connection uh, because I can't trade it at TD anymore. Um, if you want to read more about this, you can check out our post inside the community. I'll link to it here in this video. Uh, but needless to say, I can't use Schwab's API because there's no API that exists right now that nobody can connect to. So I have to move this thing over and it's okay because I'm going to move it over to a partner that's been supporting Option Alpha for a long time anyway. Um, and so now is a good time to do it. So I wanted to show you guys where we're at here with this monthly Iron Condor portfolio. This is one that's been um, one that we've been doing for quite a long time now. It's been running since March of 2022. Um, I haven't made any manual trades in this. It's been totally automated trading in this particular bot template. And it's one of my favorite ones. It's been like a, a core stable, you know, bot for me that I like checking, I like running. It's modeled on a $3,000 entry portfolio. We've done podcasts on this after podcasts on this. So I'll leave all those links and resources in the description here so you can take a look at this. But this is kind of where we're ending here with this monthly iron condor portfolio. Because we're moving it to a new brokerage connection, we actually can't take this data necessarily with us. We can't just reconnect it to a new broker account because every bot is literally hard connected to a brokerage account. So I want to show you what we're going to do here. The good news is, is that we can still keep all this data because all this data is still in the portfolio analyzer. So now we have this data forever. We can still keep this, just keep the bot that you have. We're just going to basically turn off all the automations, let the bot stay exactly where it is. Um, and then we'll just create basically a new bot with the new broker connection. But generally it's been a good bot. Um, I have noticed a couple things I want to share on this video because I think it highlights maybe some different things that we could do to the bot template if we make some updates here in the future. Um, if we do make those updates or when I do make those updates, I'll definitely record a video and show you guys how, how we've done that. But generally the bot's been doing pretty well. It's kind of handled this Market volatility over the last year pretty well um, and is, is currently up. It's been a really high win rate bot, which is by design, we literally meant and designed it to hopefully be a super high win rate. It takes really high probability trades and then closes them pretty fast and pretty early. So it's designed to get a really high win rate. It's not about 117 positions, which is not insignificantly low, but it's also not insignificantly high. So there's still lots of variability in this that hasn't really played out. 100 positions is still not enough for me to be like, I love this thing and I'll put all my money behind it. But I like the concept. I still like the methodology behind what we're doing here. Um, profit factors 1.58. That's been good. It did go through at least one pretty good drawdown of 26%. Uh, but it's not meant to be one that's like a home run. It's not meant to replace your income. It's literally meant to, to display and demonstrate the process of trading an uncorrelated basket of tickers and, and doing monthly iron condors on those. So it's been a really interesting one that I think has played out generally well. Again, kind of the new bot will reset the stats because it will start trading from scratch at that new broker, but we'll still have all the data inside of our analyze tab that we can look at at any time and kind of compare and contrast the two bots together. The one thing I did notice, and let me actually go over to the analyze tab. The one thing I did notice on this when I was just looking at the data on this, obviously it's traded only iron condors, we know that. But when you actually look at the symbol performance, which I didn't actually know until we I started plugging this into the analyzer and started looking at it, but the symbol performance, there's two things I noticed. One, again, there's just not enough trades yet. Um, so there's gonna be some more var variability in the performance of this, I would expect. So I would expect that we're gonna see some more drawdowns, we're gonna see some more ups and downs, just based off of this alone, because our highest performing ticker was XLU, which was 18 positions, 17 wins, one loss. Now, again, we're designing it to hopefully be really wide iron condors. That's what we're entering. And we're taking profits really quick. So we are designing it specifically to try to take profits quickly to keep that win rate really high. So that's not unexpected, but you get down to some of these ones here, like XRT had nine wins and no losses. Uh, EEM had 13 wins and no losses. FXI had 11 wins and one loss. Uh, TLT had 17 wins and two losses. You go over to the other ones, it's the same story, except some of the losses are much bigger. So SPY, for example, you had 13 positions, but you had some major losses uh, that kind of wipe out some of the positions. So are we not taking in enough premium? Maybe we should adjust and allow the bot to 
have a lower win rate potentially and to collect some more premium. We could obviously start to integrate EV into the spot, which we'll do in the next update, but there's a lot here that we could we could still do. Same thing with GLD. GLD had two uh, 12 positions. Only two were losers for GLD, but you can see those two losers kind of wiped out the other ones that we had for the position. So it's kind of one of those bots where you do get yourself into this position where you're taking lots of profits. You got to keep some cash in there. That's why we have position sizing in check. That's why we have um, our portfolio size small. That's why we trade diversified tickers because we don't want to get into the into a situation where everything goes wrong at the same time or hopefully we reduce that risk as much as possible. And the other thing that I noticed, and this is just kind of anecdotally, but I think that this is something that's worth looking at in your own portfolios, your own positions, is that I saw here that it actually only made one trade in XOP. So XOP only had one trade, even though it was one of the tickers on our list. And then the other thing is, is that this symbol list is actually missing a ticker symbol. And it's not missing a ticker symbol because it's not inside the bot. The bot actually has this ticker symbol in it, but the bot never made a trade in XBI. And so if you actually look at the inputs for this bot, and you can see here the list of symbols that we put in here, we put in here a bunch of uncorrelated ticker symbols. Now, originally when we built this bot, it's gonna go through this list in order. So it's gonna do SPY, TLT, GLD, FXI, XRT, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The last two ticker symbols that it has in this list that it's gonna go through are XOP and XBI. And what I think happened here is that basically it had the ability to enter all of these other symbols before it actually got to the point of going to XOP, or in this case, it never got to XBI. Not that it didn't get to it, but it already had a full portfolio every time it got to that point. So it got to the point of like, it allowed it to enter new positions, but because we didn't want it to rank necessarily XBI over SPY, we just said, look, you're gonna get into these positions and then those positions if you need to. It actually never got a chance to get into XBI and XOP. So I think what we can do again, when we do a video and kind of update this bot, as we move forward though, I'm okay with it right now, is maybe make some adjustments here where we either remove these ticker symbols and just don't trade them. They're kind of on the edge anyway, as far as diversification, or we give the ability for the bot to start doing some trade ideas, which we could test first and then actually integrate into the uh, monthly on Condor bot. Uh, but I'm okay right now just leaving it as is because these are kind of the core, I don't know if you will, like food groups of diversification anyway. So you got bonds, global markets, gold, China, retail, uh, utilities, emerging markets, et cetera. So that's, that's okay. I'm okay having those in there. I definitely like some oil and gas exposure for sure, but biotech can be like a distant one. You know, if we already have some global market exposure, we not necessarily get a lot of diversification from adding biotech into the mix. So anyways, I just thought it was pretty interesting that, you know, like just, I just saw that that was happening. And so it's something that I wouldn't have seen otherwise if I hadn't have come in here and kind of taken a look at this. Um, some other noticeable things that I looked at, uh, entry probability of profit was kind of right on target of where we should be. We were targeting positions with a 70, 75% probability of profit. Because we were taking profits early, that did increase our win rate. That's exactly what we try to tell people all the time happens. If you take profits early, you're gonna increase your win rate, but it's gotta more than cover all the additional losses if you take those. So far, that's happening, that's good. Days to expiration, uh, our entry DTE is about 50 three days on average. Some are slow a little bit sooner, some are a little bit further out, but that's okay. We wanna get long monthly positions and let those work. And we're averaging around 21 days in the trade. So obviously we're getting out of trades early. We're not fully holding every single trade all the way to expiration um, because most of the time we're getting out of trades early, taking profits early on those positions. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do to move the entire bot and just reconnect it to a new broker. So all you have to do here, and I'm gonna do this with you guys right now and literally start this as we go, is I'm gonna go ahead and just clone this bot. So I'm gonna go up here to my settings up here. I'm gonna clone this bot. I'm gonna call it my monthly iron condor portfolio. I can actually call this something like new at the beginning, just so I know that it's the new one and it's not the old one. And then I'm gonna connect this to a different broker. Now this time I'm gonna move it to my TradeStation account TradeStation has been a great partner for us. They support us, commission-free trading for all Option Alpha users who use Option Alpha anyway, and they have the new special promo that we announced. And so in this case, I'm gonna move it over to my TradeStation account, which has been great, and start trading this particular bot there. I'm gonna restart this bot essentially. So this bot actually did make some money, it was up money, 
in this case, just because it was fun and just an experiment that we can continue to do together, I'm gonna restart this bot with $3,000 from scratch. So it's almost gonna be like a piggybacked experiment or side-by-side -side experiment that we're gonna run. We can look at both side-by-side, -side, but it's kind of a continuation, kind of a, a restart, but it's good just to restart at 3,000. That gets all the stats and numbers back to where they need to be. I'll just go ahead and clone that bot. Now that bot's been created. If I go over to the bot settings, you can see I've got the exact same bot, only this time it's connected to TradeStation versus the other one was connected to TD. And of course, for security by default, all of your automations are off. They have no positions, no nothing. It's a blank slate. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these on and we're gonna start letting this thing run. So that's literally how easy it is to move any of your bots over to TradeStation or to TradeAir, whoever you wanna move your bots over to, if you wanna shift them to a different account, you can literally just clone the bot, reconnect it to a different broker, and now you have that moving forward. Notice again, I didn't remove the old bot, so the old bot that's here, which is the regular monthly iron condor, You want, if you can or if you want to, you can do old or something like that. I feel so bad saying it's old, but it's not old, it's just, this needs to be moved. Um, you can go over here and you can go ahead and start disconnecting things if you want to. I already have a position in place here. So what I'm gonna do inside the settings for this particular bot is I'm gonna go ahead and just simply remove, and I've already saved this to my library so I don't need to worry about like removing it and losing it forever. I'm simply going to remove my scanner automation because I don't need it to enter new positions at this point. So now that I've moved it and transitioned it over, um, the new bot is gonna go ahead and start scanning and entering new positions. The existing bot, I just removed the scanner automation. I'm gonna leave my monitor automation in place because I do still have one position that it's monitoring. Uh, so as it starts to get closer to transitioning or moving this account, if I need to, I can just manually close it, but I'll just let it go for now and let it continue to manage the position. Again, just leave my monitor automation in place because everything else is already taken care of for this position. I don't need to worry about anything. Uh, so I already have my exit options continuing to still work on this and I have that monitor automation that's just kind of on the background of this automation. So I'll still leave my automations on, leave my exit options on because it's still running for this position. But now essentially all new positions will go over to the new TradeStation account for that bot moving forward. So I hope this was really helpful kind of showing you uh, how I'm doing this for my account, just how this one has generally performed in this environment. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. And until next time, happy trading.